Hello everybody, Ronnie here. And to finish our board game licensing bonanza fun week, we are here with Jack, who has been working with us on designing, refining and making perfect and beautiful and brilliant the upcoming Worms game. Thank you, Jack. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's been a blast. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. Um, nice. So we've been working on this quite some time, haven't we, Jack? Uh, yeah, so it was around four years ago, I think, that we sort of started. <laughs> okay. Uh, which hasn't been, yeah, constant um, yeah. work, but um, yeah, Team 17 came to you guys with a prototype. Yeah, and then we, um, we, we approached them and said, yeah, can we have the game, please? And they said, yeah. Funny you should say that. <laughs> Here's what we've been prepared earlier. Um, yeah, and so it's a game that obviously the, uh, the video game is sort of already quite turn-based and quite sort of ready to to translate. Okay, yeah. yeah Almost more sense. of a yeah. sort of translation job than a, a full-on sort of from the ground up design job. Yeah. And they've done a lot of that sort of um, that groundwork yeah. uh, for us. There was a lot of cool stuff there. It was maybe a bit um, uh, bitty. Uh, yeah. There was sort of uh, tiny hexes and everything was like quite but, but large. and sort of Tell us about the big things. I mean, what, they came with the hex design, I think, uh, which we liked. Yeah, so the two uh, D um, top down top, top down hex right. design um, with the uh, weapons cards being sort of you know your bazooka on a on a card. Yeah. Um, so the turn structure was was really strong. Right. Um, the game itself was very long. And I'm guessing and islands was... and uh, lots of water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, the, all the classics. All yeah. the all, all the um, food groups. And yeah, killing a worm by the, removing or destroying a worm by uh, removing uh, their health or by knocking them into water. Like all of the things that you expect from worms uh, was, like, was, was kind of there. Was kind of there in in essence. And then I think our, your job was was I remember was doing a lockdown on Friday afternoons on on TTS. We were play testing. Um, it was about refining it, speeding it up, making it more fun, more bangy, more more wormsy. Yeah, so I think there's there's almost nothing that didn't change a bit, um, and uh, they're sort of making it more sort of cartoony, almost uh, less war gamey, yeah. uh, more uh, chaotic, yeah. and um, so bringing in uh, sort of a scatter die, bringing in. Um, a bit more like fast paced and simple gameplay to the uh, to the rules and how it works. So, sort of taking what was sort of an hour and a half, two hour experience, cutting that down to sort of 30, 30 45 minutes. Okay. Uh, while right. still retaining all of that. Well, um, almost highlighting the fun and keeping yeah. the. I mean, there's a lot of <laughs> scattered things were dropping in water, and that was no point. Let's just get them down. So, where are we now? We are, we've been play testing like crazy. So, we went quiet at the end of kind of lockdown in January, came back, and we were play testing the Jesus out of it over the last few weeks. We've had some excellent moments. Tell us about the top three bullet points of the game. You know, where is it? What makes it wormsy? What makes it fun? So, um, yeah, the beating heart of the game is is the weapons cards. Uh, so there's basically every weapon. Um, <laughs> there's everything you can imagine. There's the holy hand grenade. There's the sheep, the super hey. sheep, concrete donkey, buffalo hey. of lies. There we uh, are. So they're all in. So we've got, we've got all the yeah. uh, weapons. And you, gameplay is last worm standing. Uh, pretty much, there is. Um, so there's quite a lot of like at the end of the book. There's optional rules to tweak stuff, so it's exactly like the uh, the video game. Uh, but the core rules uh, is sort of light and easy to play. And the um, we did end up getting rid of the sort of elimination uh, element of it is literally the last worm standing for a, a more sort of um, friendly. Um, oh, probably quicker. I think quicker, it, yeah. When you've got a four-player game, as they start dropping out, you might still have two, three, yeah. four turns left, and that's kind of boring. So, we, we come to, is there is there oil uh, barrel? Uh, there's oil barrels. There's mines. There's supply crates. Yay. Everything you can imagine. Okay. Um, and uh, craters and water is quite fun. So you set up the map as uh, land tiles. Yeah. Uh, but whenever you fire a bazooka or a grenade or anything that blasts, you put down a crater token. Ah. If there's three craters in a hex, it turns into a water t a tile, which so the, just like, so the terrain so changes smaller exactly smaller. like yeah. okay, brilliant. So so I think well there you are, ladies and gentlemen. I think you've heard the. Uh, the insights from the game designer Jack here. We've been having lots of fun playing it. We've had holy hand grenades going off and always going wrong. I think Paul <laughs> threw it on his own head earlier today. Uh, thought he'd won the game, killed all of his own worms, which is always great. I think Matt did the airstrike and managed to roll the uh, one in one 
Oh. One in 144. Chance uh, of <laughs> missing everybody else and killing all of his own killing worms. Killing his own worms, Which yeah. was excellent, so very wormsy. So we've got a great game. Keep coming back. I think we're going to be kickstarting late August. There's going to be stories, gameplays, videos, and all cool things. So come join us with us and uh, Wormy, and we'll speak to you all soon. Thanks, everyone. Ah.